The way we light our towns and cities has hardly changed for over 130 years since the Edison bulb was invented. Until now. The LED is the most significant change in the $70 billion lighting industry since Edison's invention. And the LED market is expanding globally at almost 50% a year. Riding the crest of this tidal wave of growth and innovation is an award-winning British company, MHA Lighting. Well, we're using a unique and patented technology to provide very high quality, very high uniformity lighting uh, from an LED light source. We put light out from our fittings in a rugby ball shape, not the highly directional light that you would typically get from other LED. And this is how the patented waveguide technology works. This is a solid acrylic rod and we're putting LEDs into that rod, shining the light sideways along the rod, illuminating that as we would a fluorescent tube, and then using this reflector to put the light out precisely as we choose to. That's the essence of the technology. With energy savings of around 70%, the financial and environmental benefits have attracted a growing list of blue chip clients from Manchester to Newcastle airports, to Chevron Texaco, to spa supermarkets, and local authorities such as Cambridge City Council, the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham, and NHS North Devon Hospital Trusts. And many of these are already repeat customers. Well, our strategy has been to target um, blue chip major organisation reference sites. We've been able to do that very successfully. As I said, with GlaxoSmithKline, AstraZeneca, Manchester Airport Group and a number of major NHS trusts and we've been able to use that um, as references to get into major facilities management companies like Mighty, Skanska, Interserv. One of those blue chip sites is Manchester Airport who made a bold commitment to be the first airport group to have a carbon neutral operation by 2015. Across the car park it was a 60% reduction in energy consumption. Has that borne out? It certainly has. We meter all across the site. We're really keen on knowing where we use our electrical energy. I think we made savings of around £87,000 on this car park. Not only did we do that, we increased the lighting levels, improved our customer services score. Our car park team are highly delighted with as well. We're in the third year now of installation. I'd say we're really pleased with it. The reliability of the fittings as well is, is exceptional. We've had very few failures. In, in fact, I can't really remember how many failures we've had. We've had so few. So we've, overall, it's, it's exceeded our expectations. At night, the lighting quality in the multi-storey is clear for all to see. We have very long life product, typically 14 years in a 12 hour a day operation. No maintenance required throughout that time and energy savings in excess of 70% being typical. They also have lights inside Terminal 2 in the arrivals hall. Uh, just look at the floor. There are shadows only where we'd expect them to see, to, to see them, where there's, where there's light falling onto a body. Look generally across the floor at how uniform that light is. Look how crisp and clean that floor looks. It's the same surface as this one here, that's yellowy and shadowy. And for NHS hospitals, there are other important benefits. In the NHS, when they're having to replace faulty fluorescent tubes in hospital wards and dead skin cells in the form of dust to drop into the atmosphere, uh, it's an MRSA issue. The fact that our units run cold, are sealed, don't attract dust or insects, they can fit and forget them for seven years at 24 hours a day, continuous operation. We won the Electrical Industry Awards uh, for our tile like product which was actually developed for the NHS and that award was won not just for its lighting quality but for its, the, the role it played in assisting the NHS reduce infection rates. The global lighting market is over 70 billion, uh, about 4 billion of that is LED, it doubles every two years and it's forecast to be about two thirds by 2020. We've established ourselves in some very large specialist market sectors. Uh, there's a huge potential for this business.